First one, don't forget to do what every Actor. time? No. Do math. No. What's the first thing? Plug it in. Plug it in. You just never know. Where's it at? The top right. That one over there. Yeah, you just never know. So this one, if I plug it in, I got zero minus zero. Bad. Do the math. Nothing really to do the math. Factor. And it's got a trig in it, so I'm thinking i got to probably get a sine x over an x somewhere as well. But if I look at the bottom, they both have a x in common. So I'm going to go mess with this. So i got that. And now... By that trig limit rule, that's equal to 1. So I'm just left with a 1 on the top. I got rid of my problem child, really, at least one of them. So I can try to plug it in. And I get 1 over negative 3. Get used to recognizing the minute you get at them, going them down. Most of them will not take you much more than a minute to do, usually, if you know what you're doing. Just kind of keep on going. Second one. Recognition things that I notice, if I plug it in, problem. Then what's the biggest thing you recognize next? I see the square root, and it looks like some of that minus plus stuff, so I'm thinking... If I can, I'm probably going to have to do that rationalization technique, the conjugate thing, because nothing else seems to do anything. So I got to multiply top and bottom by The top part's really the only part you're going to want to multiply out. This bottom part, you just want to keep the factor already, okay? Because when you multiply the top, first, square root of square root, that's x plus 4. Last, negative Four. Four minus four? Zero. Got zero. If I leave it on the bottom as this, <coughs> what happens to those x's? They go away. Okay. And now I just got a one up top. Is everything else has gone bye bye? I got rid of my problem child, which was that x right there. If I plug in 0, I now have 1 on top and the square root of 4, which is 2. And 2 plus 2 is 